Hey guys, sorry about the delay in getting you these, but believe it or not, we've had a very busy off season. But we've had a request from Tim Robertson via Twitter about how the fuel system works on one of these top fuel cars. Well, basically, we have this pump. We start with this pump, and this pump here is about 100 gallons per minute. But what we do is we can't use all that fuel all the time, so we actually manage it or meter it. And the way we meter it is through this slide valve. So basically, when this race car leaves the start line, we're putting approximately 60 gallons per minute, and we're bypassing 40 gallons per minute back to the tank. But as the race car is going down the racetrack, this slide valve has a, an orifice in it that we eventually close. So we stop metering fuel back to the tank, and we start pouring it to the engine. And once we get out to the middle of the track, this engine's seeing over about 80 plus gallons per minute. And then what we want to do is flatline that, so we don't want it varying with engine RPM. And so this little piece here actually is a regulator. And what this does, it regulates that pressure, and which in turn regulates the GPM. So once we get to about 85, 86 gallons per minute, thereabouts, it'll hold a constant fuel delivery to the engine as it goes through to the lights. That's the basics of it. There's still a lot of settings and a lot of things that can be done to fine tune it and tweak it, but that's basically how the system works. Tim, thank you for your question, and guys, honestly, keep them coming in, and, and trust me, I'll get to these as soon as I can, we'll try and do another one for you in Gainesville, but if you have any questions about how these cars work, please send it on in to Grubby's Garage, and we'll do our best to get you the answers.